So over here in our view did load, this is what we want to happen. So we want to create, um, we want to change our label to update every time something happens. So this is what we want to do. So I'm going to type, um, first of all, we want to safely unwrap it because when you have a, when you have a label on your um, storyboard, it doesn't necessarily have to have any text in it just because you have label in it. So we're going to make sure we're going to, so we're going to check it first by doing some conditional uh, binding, some conditional checking. So first of all, we're going to say, uh, let's do something like this. So we'll say if uh, actual text equals middle VC, come on now, middle VC label dot text we're gonna say let or we're gonna say middle VC label dot text equals we're gonna do some string interpolation we're gonna say actual text oh, you know what I didn't say let if let there we go so we're gonna say actual text and then we're going to do a new line by doing this. So we're going to say, um, we're going to hit the backslash again, hit the N, and then we're going to say event number. String interpolation again. We're going to say event number one, and then we're going to go out of this. We're going to say hit enter, and then we're going to say event number plus equal one. All right, so what does all this mean? What's happening here? So, like I said before, so we are just checking to make sure that um, the actual uh, text uh, or label on our storyboard actually has text in it. If it does have text in it, we're just going to make sure that it is set to whatever it has on it. So, currently, um, the text says nothing has happened yet. So, so we know that it's in there. So, that's going to stay there. It's going to remain there. So, with the nothing has happened yet, cool. So, so what's going to happen next is it's going to start a new line and the first and the new line is going to have event number and then inside that event number is going to be one first of all because the view did load is the first thing that happens right cool got that that's understood the next line is event number plus equals one so the next thing that happens which is what what's the next thing in the view controller life cycle the view will appear so once the view will appear happens it'll say It'll be event number two, and you'll see all that here in a few moments. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just create the same thing. We're going to add all of our view controller uh, lifecycle methods. Do you remember them all? Why don't you do this? Pause the video and just do basically the same thing for the rest of them, and then come back. Did you do it? All right. Let's see. So we're going to do this. So we're going to say view will appear that's next right override come on now come on xco work with me work with your boy oh you know what because i'm not outside of the i'm not outside of the method my bad all right so here we're gonna do so view will appear we're going to say super dot view will appear animate it yep that's what we want to do so we're going to say if let actual text equals middle vc label dot text we want to say middle vc label dot text equals string interpolation we're going to say actual text and then we're going to do a backslash Hit N for a new line, an event number, and we're going to say event number, uh, oh, you know what I forgot? So up here, this is what we need to do. We need to say event number, uh, whatever is view did load. All right. And the same thing for here. So we're going to say is view uh, will appear and then we're going to hit enter and we're going to say event number plus equal one again all right and so now we're going to go to view did appear and then we're going to say super 
dot view did appear animate it all right and then we're going to say if let actual text equals middle vc now i could be simply copying and pasting this but i'm, I'm doing it the hard way that text and then actual text event number right is view will appear hit enter and then we're going to increment it again this is our counter all right and so for the next one what's the next one uh, view will disappear right view will disappear animate it super uh, view will disappear animate it hit enter and you know what I am going to copy and paste this time not recommend it but um, this is a little bit easier we're not adding any um, complex code so we'll say view uh, will disappear here and event number plus equals one and then last one is view did disappear and so again we're going to call the super classes implementation view did disappear animate it hit enter all right i want to copy and paste oh, actually, i already have the copy i'm just going to paste and then i'm going to say view did did disappear all right cool now what we're going to do is we are going to build and run our app and we're going to see what happens so i'm going to change my device from my iphone to a simulator so you guys can see and i'm going to hit command r to run it and we're going to see what happens Uh, view will appear. That's right. Now the view did appear. Okay, I got that fixed. View will disappear. View did disappear. Good. All right. So we have show me the life cycle up. Now let's see what happens. So I'm gonna hit show me the life cycle, and look. So nothing has happened yet. And then you've seen it. The the different lines start popping up. So event number one is view did load. Event number two is view will appear. Event number three is view did appear. All right. Now, once we click on go to last VC, I want you to pay attention because something's going to pop up. What's going to pop up? You should already know, right? Yeah, and you'll see it. it's going to be very quick. Look, it started popping up. It was four. So we're going to go back to see if anything happened. And once we go back, let's see. So what happened? So, so four popped up just as we were transitioning from this middle VC to the last VC and what, what was it view will disappear and then five popped up once we were already on it uh, view did disappear and then uh, number six happened because we came back to it view will appear and then view did appear six and seven now what will happen if we go back to the first VC okay so same thing so let's do this so so we're gonna hit back and remember pay attention to see what what, what what will pop up so we're gonna go there so we did that um so we had eight but what's gonna happen now so we're gonna go back to the middle vc and we're gonna say show me the the life cycle and it restarted so why did it start over why you know what was the differences and so so you see how uh the view was removed completely uh once we went back to the first vc and everything restarted but it didn't do that when we were going back from the middle vc to the last vc all right and so you can kind of see you know the order of everything and how everything happens all right guys so that is it for now thank you guys for joining me stay tuned for the next lesson in swift coding for everyone as we follow along in the app development with swift book um swift edition 4 thank you guys so much y'all take care and happy coding